Hi guys, Gritty, Gritty's Race and Rest Day. Yeah. Got my brace underneath. This is roughly where the bell housing will sit on that gearbox. Sitting on the floor over there. Let's see if it. Nah. So that I'm about to put in here. So I finished off this rail, right hand rail, I wasn't happy with the gusset. Now I am. And they're actually welded into the lower inner lower control arm mount a lot more than what they were. I'll end up putting some gussets and stuff underneath. The seat pan bolts on nice and neat. It's reasonably straight. It's not a huge issue being the fact it's hanging out the back where you know, five mil variance is fine because it's not going to affect any of the actual geometries of the front wheel or the back wheels. I have to put minimal heat into the rear beam so I don't warp anything. My bracing I had in here, I cut it out, nothing moved, it's nice and neat. I've put this in here, it never had a brace underneath but I, I would like one. I think it needs a bit of a, a, bit of a drag bar so the sump doesn't touch. But yeah, the Oz trike is it's coming together well. All the steel I'm using here is all CDS, except this. This is thick wall hydraulic seamless tubing. This is something different again, nice and strong. But yeah, this is all roll cage CDS. This is an old cage that I had laying around. It had gone in a car. The pipework was mint. It, it was, you can see the color on it here. It wasn't rusty. It was just sitting around. So I thought we're better off putting it to good use and it's nice and strong. It's uh, yeah, really strong. So the old stuff was actually a seamed thick wall cheap tubing. Now I probably wouldn't have, you can see the little seam bit on the top there, I probably wouldn't have used that. I will plate all this stuff off and okay see that weld? That's what this trike passed with. Some of the welds are good on it, others are just like that. There's barely any penetration. Yeah, some of mine have got a bit too much. A bit too much back cut and stuff. They're not perfect. Grind them all back, but it'll be strong. I will put a gusset in here like this. Nice and neat. Probably out of five mil and I'll cap off the ends of these pipes really, really neat as well. Uh, we will probably put, we'll probably weld in here or put a gusset plate in here. I haven't decided that yet. Next step is we need to start building a gearbox mount under that beam. So right here on this torque tube, there's threads. So I can't weld in between here because I don't want to affect the threads for the torque springs. But yeah, it's coming together. Take a little bit of time, but yes, I'll show you some goodies we got for it. This here is the auto flex plate. This was from, I think his name's John Burke. Um, good enough to send, sell me some stuff which I couldn't find very easily. This is really, really rare stuff now. And he also sold us, also sold us this, which is an automatic type three shifter. Spent a bunch of hours cleaning the gearbox, 50 years, I think it's 73, 72, 73, it should be out of something around there. Fluid's really, really nice, I'll put some seals in it. For now it's going behind the engine and it's going in and it'll go in for mock-up. But yeah, wash 50 years of grime off. There was a whole lot of work. This, this is the torque converter. This will go to Mr. Terry at All Torque Converters. Awesome guy. Uh, been a customer of his for many, many years. I would classify Terry a friend if he rang me and needed my help. I would help him. Lovely guy, and he'll do a really, really nice clean on this. And it should be under $300, somewhere around that vicinity, to cut it open, clean it. He'll check all the snout, make sure all the bush and everything's good. Very, very attentive with the, with the work that he does. And then, yeah, I will yank 
So today we will put this behind that and I will sit it all on the frame and I'll start building some mounts and do some videos of that. There'll be none of this old Jigger Volkswagen mount shit. You wait till you see what I build. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I look forward to uh, bringing you some more updates later on in the week. Thanks.